my channel. I know I've been doing a lot of Fenty videos lately, but I have been telling you guys for probably months now that I have been planning on doing this video of doing all 24 Mademoiselle lip swatches, and I'm finally getting to do this. Now, I've debated on how I wanna do this and what order I wanted to swatch them in, so what I did was I have them in six different categories. So there's orange, neutral, faded into pink, purple. There's some crazy colors, browns, blue, green. There's, there's some colors. <laughs> We're gonna get into these lip swatches and I'm gonna do them by categories because I know a lot of people don't like color or maybe they like just this or that. So we're just gonna get right on into this cause I got 24 lipsticks to swatch now. There's a lot of them. So we're gonna start off with the neutral shades faded into pink. So the first one I'm gonna do is thick, which is like a neutral pinkish color. This is thick right here. Now, this one, I love this color. This is a really easy live in my purse kind of color. It has lived in my purse for a while. I've used a ton of this. Like when I roll it all the way down, you can see just about how much I've actually used of this lipstick. This is definitely one of my favorite ones just because it looks super natural. It goes with pretty much every eye look that you do. You don't gotta think about much really comfortable formula, obviously. Next up is Spanked. This one I do like, but it's a little bit more of a fall color for me. It's a little bit deeper. I am definitely going to be wearing this a lot in the fall time. I got this one ready, matching up with some outfits. It goes really well with the Jackiana palette, if you're wondering. But this one's kind of like a rosy. I don't really know how to explain it, but this is the shade Spanked. Next up is a little red. Now, I haven't used this one a lot. So this one is Madame. This one I haven't used a lot. I don't wear a lot of reds. But as you can tell, this one is a pretty bright red. Does make your teeth look pretty white, but I don't really wear a lot of reds. I know I should wear more reds, but for some reason, reds just don't draw my attention. <laughs> this is Madame. Now we have a hot, hot pink. This one I do like a lot. This is called Candy Venom. It is a super bright pink. This one is awesome. This one is definitely like hot pink, Malibu Barbie, like it's pink. Now we have a reddish pink mix. This one is called Dragon Miami. This one is super awesome. I absolutely love this shade. I am so obsessed with this shade. Every time I put it on, I'm like, this is my shade. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like a neon reddish pink coral. It's, you have to have it. Now we have a super unique shade. This one is called Ballerina Blackout. I've used this one a ton, but it's the most unique pink purple I think I've ever come across. Look at this shade. What the heck? This shade is so interesting. I just, it gets me every time because I'm like kind of purple, kind of pink, kind of neon, kind of muted. It's just kind of, I don't even know. It's just so special. So I went ahead and swatched all of these out for you guys. So moving from left to right, we have Thick, Spanked, Madam, Candy Venom, Dragon Miami, and Ballerina Blackout. So we just finished the pink shades. Now we're getting into a little bit of purple. 
This one is Flamingo Acid. It's purplish pink. It's a fuchsia shade, but I decided to put it in a purple pile. So this is Flamingo Acid. It is definitely name on point. Like it is just deep, but also like has this pop to it. That's just, <clears throat> I don't even know how to explain it. It's spot on. Next up, we have the shade One of the Boys, which I have used the crap out of. It's one of my first Mademoiselle lipsticks, but you can see the lipstick is actually pretty much turned completely in the tube. I don't know why that happened, but it's one of the only ones that this has happened to. I love this shade. Every time I use this shade, it makes my teeth look really yellow, but it is just, I love purple lipstick. It makes my eyes look super green. I like purple on my complexion. I just love this shade. Last one of the purple pile is Violet Fury, which is a deep royal purple. Now, isn't this shade gorgeous? It's so deep and beautiful. <gasps> I love this purple. This is one of my favorite shades of purple, actually. And again, I'm just doing all the purple swatches on my hand right here. So again, left to right, we have Flamingo Acid, one of the boys, and then Violet Fury, the dark purple at the end. All right, so before we move on to the next category, I wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite live in your purse lipstick? Like the one that you got always on you, like no matter what you're doing, like the lipstick that you grab, run out the door, always works for you. Leave it in the comments down below. So I'm gonna jump into the kind of crazy colors really fast. I'm just gonna do the greens and then the grays. One of them is Midnight Wasabi. This is definitely one of my favorite green shades. I love green lipstick. I think it's awesome. And this is Midnight Wasabi. This one is so awesome. I love me some green lipstick. I love me some blue lipstick. I'm not afraid of lipstick. I freaking love this green lipstick. First off, because it's dark enough to where it doesn't make your teeth green, but it's also like such an unusual shade. It's not so stand outish. It kind of gives this like, like you just feel cool. You just feel cool when you wear this lipstick. Like it's just like, yeah, I got green lipstick on. What? <laughs> Next up is another favorite. I've worn this one so many times and every time I wear this lipstick, I get some major compliments on it. This one I have used a ton, like as you can see when I roll it all the way down. Ugh, but this one is called Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos just makes you feel like you're in Turks and Caicos. Like, it's just, the color that they got down with this is so on point. Like, it's just the perfect teal color that you can get in a lipstick. Like, it's deep enough. It's not too deep. It's not too bright neon. It's like the perfect color. Now, this one isn't in the green category, but it's called I Quit. And it is the perfect gray that I have found. This is the best wearable grayish lipstick I have ever found. And it matches so perfectly with my skin tone. It still looks gray, it's still wearable. It's my one of my favorite colors out of this whole Mademoiselle lipstick range. As you can tell, it has a lot of really fun colors. Colors that I'm really obsessed with and really love having in my collection. This is one of those shades that you will have to fight me to get this out of my collection. And then here are all those funky colors. There's Midnight Wasabi, 
15 Kikos and then I quit. Love all of these. And then before we get into the deeper shades, I want to hit up the orange lipsticks. Now, Fenty's got a ton of orange lipsticks and if you love orange lipstick, hit that thumbs up. If you love lipsticks in general, hit that thumbs up. And if you love orange lipstick as much as I do, then you can put in the comments, hashtag orange lipsticks club. We're starting a club of orange lipstick lovers. Now these first two that I'm gonna show you aren't entirely orange, but I still wanted to put them in the orange pile. This one is called Single. It's a light kind of muted rosy peach. So this is single and she is pretty, oh my gosh. I, words cannot describe how much I love this shade. It's just the perfect rosy peachy nude. Like it's just everything you need. Next one is called Up To No Good. This is another shade that's kind of similar to single. So this is up to no good. This shade I love wearing in the fall as well. It's like nude, really light nude, but it has this like peachy orange peeking through it to where it just sticks out just enough. This looks really pretty with like really intense smoky makeup as well. Love it. You can use a lip liner, put this in the center, ombre it. This shade just looks pretty all the time. Now this is one of my favorite orange shades. This is like my prized possession. So this is Pumpkin Rose. It is literally subculture in a lipstick. Who doesn't want that? Here's the subculture palette. Tried and true, love it so much. Look, New Wave. Literally, oh, I love this shade so much. <laughs> I could wear this shade day in, day out, every single day, and still think this is a badass color. Next one is a cute shade. It's like a deep orange. It's called Tiger Teeny. Oh my gosh. This shade, you can pop on with any neutral eye makeup and it just makes your day brighter. It just makes you happy. This shade just literally makes you happy. It's like, oh my gosh, what, what the heck are you doing? Like this is, mm, it just makes me warm inside. Next up is another bombshell orange shade. This one is called Saucy. This is just the perfect muted, but yet still bright orange shade. It is, oh, and it still makes your teeth look white. Like it's just so gorgeous. And unfortunately, the last of the orange shades, it's kind of an orangey brown shade. This one is Freckled Fiesta. Now, I think this lipstick would look absolutely stunning on a true redhead. I think this was like really fair complexion, freckles, natural like red hair. Oh my gosh. Redheads, you need this. Everybody, you need this. Like this shade just looks so awesome. Oh my gosh. All of these shades are my favorites. I love orange lipstick. Dr. Pepper Break. All right, and then here are the orange swatches. They're single, up to no good, pumpkin rose, tiger teeny, saucy, and freckled fiesta. So with ending with freckled fiesta, I'm gonna jump into the more brown shades. First off being shoddy. This one is gorgeous. This one feels very seductive and mysterious and mm, 
fall vibes. Everyone's getting into fall vibes and talking about Halloween. And it's in the middle of August. <laughs> then we have PMS, which is a really dark reddish brown. Look how vampy this is. It is so pretty. It's like wearing a dark red and a dark brown. They married each other and it's on my lips. It's pretty awesome. Then we have Griselda. This one is like a deep plummy brown. I don't have the best application with this, but you can see this is a deep, deep purpley red wine brown shade. It's really dark, really vampy. Love this shade. This is actually one of my favorite shades to wear in the fall. It's like super vampy, browny, wine, red shades. I love it. And then now we got the black shade. This is called, this shade is called Effing Black. And it is black. Now I think everybody needs a black lipstick in their life. This one is definitely one of my favorites because it's not a liquid lipstick, so it's easier to wear throughout the day. And one of my favorite looks to do with a black lipstick is actually not a lot going on my face. And then black winged eyeliner, lashes, black lipstick. Favorite, super easy, quick out the door, but you're still looking cute makeup look. Love it. This makeup wipe is holding itself up. And then I went ahead and swatched the kind of brownish deep shades on my hand. So we have Shoddy, PMS, Griselda, and Evan Black. We have two more and they're blue. So this one, I haven't worn a lot. This one's called Ya Dig. So this one I haven't gotten in my comfort zone enough to wear it out, which why which is why I haven't used it a lot, but I still think this one is pretty cool. I just need to embrace this one a little bit more. And the last shade is called Clapback, which is a navy blue. This one's super pretty. I do like wearing this one a lot. This one, surprisingly, looks really good with purple eyeshadow and a dark lipstick. This navy looks phenomenal. And then here is your dig and clapback swatch on the back of my hand. But that is it for the lip swatches of the Mademoiselle lipsticks. If you were looking at them, I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which shades you like. If you have any Mademoiselle lipsticks, which ones do you have? If you wanna watch more videos, I will have a video suggested to you by YouTube right here. And this video is my review on the Dermaphore device. This thing was crazy. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, I'll have my face somewhere. I've been putting it over here. And you can click on it and subscribe to my channel.